In my last video, I was going to make a video about a film camera. It used to be my grandpa's and I was just gonna be giving a review on my first experience with film. But when we got to Salt Lake, this car, the pulley just kinda blew up. And so I made the video about that. But this video is going to be the actual review of me using film. Time for photo number one. We're in Salt Lake. I don't know what the photo is gonna be, but uh, gonna walk around and maybe we will find a spot. So far, the coolest thing about film would be the sound that this camera makes. Um, little fun fact, the iPhone shutter, the sound that you make when you take a photo on your iPhone, was of a Canon AE-1 film camera. This is a Canon A1, so it's similar, but not exactly the same, but it's a really cool sound. That sounds sick. And then you also have to cock it to move to the next uh, exposure, as it's called, and that is also satisfying. So I took about 20 exposures in Salt Lake, which means I have about 18 left, and I'm here in this little alleyway that I took family photos once when I was a younger kid, and it has some cool, like, contrasty, dark, looking places so i'm gonna take a couple photos um just to give a little perspective of time today is sunday i'm hoping to take these to the place to get them developed on monday so that by next monday that they will be developed in time so that i can put these uh these photos in the video the first photo i'm going to be taking is of this like kind of rose not even rose but like flowery wall house place so what i'm most curious about in these photos is how the colors come out with kind of the red flowers and the, the like old rusticy bricks. But it's this big alleyway. I'm gonna try to find some more cool things to take photos of. The next spot is this um, kind of a garage place. The, the sound that the camera makes is so sick. Found this, another kind of a bricky old looking place. So hopefully, see how this one comes out to the next spot. For this one, I wanna get a really kind of big depth of field just to see how blurry I can get the background. So I have the aperture as low as I can go and then we'll try to get this like rusty pipe and then the, the back dirty-ish wall. Um, this one, I'm mostly curious to see how the colors will come out because there's some green in the trees and it's also like a kind of really saturated, not saturated, but a really like faded sky. If you didn't know in Utah right now, the air quality is super bad. A couple days ago, from my house, I couldn't even see the mountains. And that's like a normal sight to see. But I couldn't even see them a couple days ago. And that was really weird. We've taken 30 exposures or photos. And I have six more. So I think I got to find another spot to take a couple more. I'm at this door. And I cannot tell you how many family photos I've seen where they've used this door in the family photos but I really wanna take a photo of it just cause I wanna see, it's kind of like, not necessarily overexposed, but it's really bright here. So I wanna see how like really bright photos come out. The final spot is going to be this big white building. Um, gonna take again some more bright photos to see how really bright photos turn out with all the whites and stuff. And this will be the last part of, of these photos that I'm about to take. Just finished up on taking those photos. So now is the fun part where we go ahead and push that button, take this, then we start unwinding the film. So now is the moment of truth where we're gonna pop this open and hope that all of the film is in the canister, which looks like we did it right. I got the film right here. We're in the car and we're heading to Replica Color in Salt Lake City. Uh, that is where I'm gonna drop these photos off to get developed and hopefully they should be here in two to three days and then we can look at the photos.